in the valve stem and um this rim lock is perfect so what happened is that now the um the tire gonna seat it right behind here and right across here and then now once you um you're gonna make sure that you um your tube stay inside the rim lock like that you don't want the tube to be outside on the rim lock you want it to stay exactly in the rim lock like that so um what we're gonna do next so this is the valve stem hole right here so we're gonna come straight across this is the valve stem hole pretend this was the valve stem hole right here Put them like this one, okay. Straight across. We're gonna drill a hole straight across over here, and we're gonna um, locate the um, the rim lock right across over here. You wanna put it exactly in that line. So I have my drill here already, and um, you wanna make sure that um, you get the right size drill bit. You don't wanna make the hole too big. You wanna make it just right, like this one. Okay, guys okay so um as what i said you want to find like um somewhere in between the spokes i already have um one spokes missing from here so that make it way much more easier for me but if you didn't have a spokes missing so this is a valve stem right here you would have um come straight across over here and you would put it right here in the middle in between these two spokes but being as i already have um one spokes missing over here the hole is already there already right here it's um it's not too big so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna drill it out a little bit more bigger and um actually you know what i can't put it in the hole guys the hole is not um properly um center so it look like i'm gonna have to drill a next hole um so let's see we're gonna go straight across over here right here I'm gonna drill a hole right over here exactly. I'll just take this guy off, put a new one. So, um, so where's the valve stem again? The valve stem is right here, and we're gonna go right across here. We're gonna drill a hole right here, right here in the middle. So you see, I put a black mark right there. I'm gonna drill a hole right there. So what do you wanna do now? You wanna get um, a punch or a screwdriver or something. And you want to punch a hole there? So guys, what do you want to do? You want to use a small drill bit at first. And um, after you bite the hole, you use a bigger one. And um, you want to make sure that the hole is very straight. And um, I will take you guys through the process. Guys, without rim lock, you, um, your tube will always gonna be um pop you have to put rim lock i already changed my um tube several times already you have to put rim lock and make sure you don't make the hole too big you just want to make the hole exactly just like the um the rim lock stem so this is the rim lock and right now this hole is um too small we're gonna drill it out a little bit more bigger so we're gonna um we're gonna change a bit and we're gonna use a bigger bit so first you use a small one then you use a medium one then you use uh make sure that this one is the perfect size just like this one we don't want to make the hole too big and um if you make the hole too big the, this guy will just keep moving around we want to make the hole exactly so let's drill this out a little bit more we're gonna test it out okay a little bit more and that's what I say you want to make sure that the um you want to make sure the hole is straight okay so now we're gonna check it out okay it's a little bit still tight so what we're gonna do we're gonna work the drill around you want to keep it kind of angle like this let's check it out now there you go guys, almost. One more time. Without rim lock, you're gonna be spending a lot of money on tube. Guys, there you go, there you got it right there, perfect. So that's it, you see? 
straight and nice that's the way you do arm rim lock so right now as you can see it's the rim lock I drill a hole here first I use a small one I use a medium one and then I use a big one so you want to make sure actually I have the perfect size so both are like the same size you don't want a big one where the rim lock go inside and the rim lock keep moving around so um I have it there. let me get the uh so this the um this the nut and this the washer for the rim lock we're gonna place it over here i'm gonna screw it up a little bit and uh, we're gonna leave it like that because when we put in the tube on the tire back you need to push the rim lock back like this and once you push it back and where's the tire on the tube in it's gonna come down and you're gonna tighten this guy and this is gonna stop all your guys issue with your tube if you don't have a rim lock the tube gonna keep popping always install rim lock guys um, I also have um, I also have lots more extra rim lock if you guys out there in Toronto you guys need rim lock message me down below and I also have um tube I usually do so um they got it I put the um, I put the tire um, back together and um, first what you want to do you want to put the rim lock in and um, don't tighten it all the way just leave a little bit of gap on it first what I like to do I like to put a little bit of here inside the um, tube before I put the tube inside so I'm gonna um, do that right now I think maybe uh, this is a little bit too much so I'm gonna let some out thing what you want to do you want to make sure you catch the valve stem so as soon as I catch the valve stem what I do I thread the nut on it a little bit so there you got it I just catch the valve stem so what do you want to do now you want to work your way around with the um with the tube slowly slowly guys be patient there's no need to rush you don't want to pinch the tube imagine you only have one tube and you um you put it in you guys going for a ride you and your buddy and you put the here inside as soon as you know it man the damn tube is pop so now the rim lock is over here guys you want to make sure that the um the tube is um seating properly over the rim lock because you don't want the rim lock to um pinch your tube so you gotta be careful with the with that part the rim lock that's what i said if you guys are out here in toronto man and you guys have this issue with your bike you guys want to message me down below definitely um come by and um so what you want to do now you want to push the um the rim lock back and um what i usually do i usually um catch the uh the rim lock part of the tire first so there you got it the tube is seated perfect inside so now what you want to do now you want to put a little bit um double d 40 so um just a little bit, not too much. So as what I said, you want to make sure that the, um, the tube is not being pinched by the, uh, the rim lock. So what I usually do, I usually put the... Uh, and you, when you put in the, um, the tire, you want to make sure you push the rim lock back. So that meaning the, the tire seated right over the rim lock. It's maybe uh, difficult on camera for you guys to see, but I know exactly what I'm doing. If you have um, an egg, a second hand, would make the job more easier guys
that's why I say installing the rim lock it can be difficult if you guys don't know what you're doing but as what I said just be patient do small piece by piece And um, as you can just see just now, it was giving me a little bit of a hard time. But if you don't have the WD-40 to make it slippery, yeah. So as soon as everything's seated together, you see the rim lock. The rim lock just come down. Remember, we pushed it back just to push the tube back. And as soon as everything seated properly, you see the rim lock come down. So now, I'm just going to work my way around piece by piece piece by piece now you want to be careful that um, you don't pinch your tube guys because that's what I said that's the last thing you want to do you want to um, I'm using this big screwdriver so um, you may not pinch the tube that easily because it's it's not like this little skinny one that broke on me before and as you can see guys the time is hot man and I'm sweating bro so what I'm gonna do now slowly work my way around Put a little bit of double D for here again just to make it quickly There you got it guys, there you got it, everything is perfectly in place guys, I have my rim lock in, oh man I'm so happy man, I'm so excited, I don't have to worry about when I go for a ride again, my tube gonna be um, pop one hour away like what happened to me the last time, so guys what I want to do now, what I like to do actually, I like to um, just go right at the rim lock and make sure that the rim lock is seated perfect okay that's looking good and i'm gonna check it again okay that's looking good the tube is not being pinched so i'm gonna put some here in this bad boy and we're gonna throw it on and we're gonna take it for a spin so um guys i'm not gonna show you putting back the um the tire together on the bike, I show you guys how to put um, rim lock. So this is a rim lock. Actually, you know what? Let's put some here in it and confirm that everything is okay on camera. Let's put some here in it. So when you put it in here inside, you wanna check to make sure that um, the rim lock part over here is seated properly on the rim and so far so good and when you have a rim lock inside your tire um, you do not have to put a lot of here to make it like really really tough because um if you have less here it's more traction and it's a more comfortable ride so let's put a little bit more here inside yeah i think this much here is good um if i need any more here so um let's check it out so look around this is the room lock sitting right here and man i do a good job putting this rim lock in this is my first time i did some research online and um the rim lock is seated straight and the valve stem is um, seated perfectly over here and i'm so happy man i don't have to worry about my tube being popped anymore and um the, make sure that the tire is seated properly around the rim 
because you, if it doesn't seat properly, it will wob. And so far, so good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, put this uh, nut up and lock the, um, there's a lock nut on the, um, for the uh, rim lock. So let's, um, let's lock it up. And um, definitely I will, I will test this bike out. And um, if I have any issue with the rim lock, I will let you guys know, but I'm pretty sure that we ain't gonna have no issue with the um, with the rim lock. This is perfect. I can't believe that um, they did such a good job. It's the first time doing the rim lock, and um, that's what I said. I have extra rim lock. If you guys have a 125 or a 150, if it didn't pop your tubers yet, it's just gonna be a matter of time it will pop your tube it happened to us over and over and um you want to make sure that the um this nut on the rim lock is tight because you don't want the rim lock to move inside so that was the and even the hole what i drill inside the hole was perfect man that drill bit was perfect and i'm and actually um the 150 is the 150 is over there. I didn't get a chance to um, do the rim lock in that one. So um, I will do the rim lock in that one tomorrow because I was um, I was tuning up on uh, 150. And guys, I have no issue. My tire is not going down. I didn't pinch my tube and the rim lock seated perfectly. You know what? Let's put just a little bit more here inside. To, um, to be on the more safer side, just let's put a little bit more here inside. But there you go, man. There you got it. I just installed rim lock, and I'm so excited. I don't have to worry about my tube being pop anymore. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you find the video helpful, guys, give the video a thumbs up. Share the video. Like the video. Hit that bell notification, guys. And guys, until then, as what I said, I have extra. I have extra rim lock. I have extra tube. As what I said, if you have a 150, I have a 125. It's just a matter of time before um, your tube pop. It will pop is it when you don't want to go for a ride on the track with your buddies and you two pop so I can do all of that for you guys out there if you want to install rim lock so guys until then peace